Hey guys, Mangrel here, and today we're going to try to fix our RC helicopter wall mount. We're going to try to use this 3D printed piece instead of these RC skid clamps. I've been using these skid clamps for the last maybe year, year and a half, and initially they worked great, but over time they seem to break. And when they break, then the helicopter falls off the wall, which is actually what ended up happening for myself. We worked uh, with RC skid clamps. They had great customer service. We went back and forth uh, many times and they generously offered to replace any damaged parts on the helicopter when it fell off the wall. They even sent uh, replacement skid clamps, but as you can see, the same thing happened once again. It shouldn't look like that. And what they said was they'd never seen that before and you know, gave me some suggestions, but none of those seemed to work. So I'm not faulting the actual product. The company was amazing, great customer service. It just doesn't seem to work for my application. So one suggestion is maybe because I've got the helicopter on the wall for longer periods, especially now that I'm into FPV drones, I don't fly the helicopter as much. And the helicopter is used primarily as wall decoration as well as my, my mask holder. So that could be one of the reasons and their suggestion was take it off the wall every you know, couple of days, every couple of weeks. So we're gonna try out uh, this piece here that we've 3D printed, see if that's any better and go from there. Here is the design that we will print. It's the helicopter wall mount by Calvin 3. And here he's got the helicopter mount along with he has a transmitter mount. And we can see that uh, he's tried this out on, I think, smaller size helicopters. So this looks probably like a 200, 250 maybe. No, this is 115. So I think they're quite a bit smaller helicopters. Along with here is his transmitter wall mount. So definitely, I, I agree with the summary. Simple but flexible, works for both small and big, yep. No support needed, only one hole. So definitely, it's, it's a very simple and I think smart design and he says here info 25% PETG no support so I think all that looks good so we can go ahead and download our transmitter mount if you want that and or our wall mount for the helicopter and then once you import this into your slicer it comes in at this orientation so that's no good what we want to do is we want to change the orientation so that we've got the face of it facing down and this way we require no support. It should print very, very easily. And when we print this in its stock size, it becomes roughly six and a half inches in length here, which was too small for my Mikado logo 480. And what I had to do was modify the scale factors. So you want to make sure you unlock. And then I had to use 125, it's 125. So we can see it stretches to roughly eight and a quarter inches, which was perfect for the logo 480. Because we made these arms longer, I also wanted to give it a bit more strength. So we'll modify the Y here to be the 105, 108, and that makes it a little bit thicker. Uh, let's go 110. So this makes the arms a little bit thicker, and because it's thicker, it should have some more strength. The Z was fine, so the height was, was okay, no problems there. And then supports none, infill, even though Calvin 3 said you know, 25%, I went you know, all in 90% just to make sure everything is very strong and um, will last a long time. So PTG, good, slice. Yeah, roughly an hour and, uh, and a half to print and should be good to go.
We just finished mounting the helicopter on the wall and here's how it looks. It looks like it's fairly secure. It has a little bit of a bounce to it because we did use PETG to print the mount, which has a bit of a flexibility to it. Not much, but a little bit. So I do see that the mount has a tiny bit of flex, but I don't think it'll cause any issues. We will monitor and see if any stress marks or any white marks appear in this section, because that's where I think the majority of the pressure is. If that does happen, I think we'll print one more of these mounts for the rear skid just to give it some additional support. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Does that look delicious?